is Tracy from Nova Scotia Living and it's 20 after 12. I've had a very very busy morning. I've been cleaning and cleaning and I've really tackled Misha and Mally's room. I took down the downstairs mattress that they have bunk beds in there. The the bottom bunk mattress. Yeah I took the bottom bunk uh, mattress down. It's out on the back deck now. I'll let my husband deal with that. He can bring it to the dump or burn it. I don't care what the heck he does with it, but I need to get a new mattress for that. But we had an extra extra mattress on one of the other bunk beds that's not being used right now, so I just I swapped it out for now. So yeah, but while I took that out, I could clean under the bed real good and uh, sweep all the old toys. I decluttered quite a lot under there. Tomorrow, I don't have time to do it today. Tomorrow I'm going to tackle all the clothes that are in that room because it's, it's bad. But right now, I need to tackle that uh, boiled dinner that I, I soaked the meat last night, if you watched the video. The two buckets of salt pork ribs. Um, I just dumped out the water. Well, I left a little bit of the water in the pot still. I'm going to refill it back up with some fresh water and boil it for a couple of hours. But while that's boiling, I need to peel a bunch of potatoes, a bunch of carrots, a turnip, and uh, cut up some onions, and cabbage yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah it just all goes in a pot together and voila there's supper but it's, it's 20 after 12 like I said and um, yeah that that meat needs to boil at least two hours before I add anything to it so yeah I gotta get cracking All right, well, it's all chopped up. I'm just going to let it sit in some cold water until it's time to add it, but that just saves a lot of time after. This hasn't started boiling yet, but it's coming up. It's coming up. When I got up this morning, if you watched yesterday, I sliced up a whole bunch of mushrooms to dehydrate. I'll put a picture in here. But, um, yeah, they're all nice and dry. I'm going to put them in a mason jar, and they'll last for years and years if I wanted them to. Um... And I got some more mushrooms to cut up after, but yeah, that feels good. And it's nice to grab vegetables when they're like marked down and stuff like that. If you can slice them up or can them or dehydrate them or freeze them, as soon as you get them, they're, they're good to go. So anyways, when I get them in a jar, I'll show you. I'm just emptying the dehydrators. Dehydrators. <laughs> Maze is helping me here. But yeah, so I got a quart and a couple of half pints. I'm trying to squish it down. Right, Maze? we got to squish it down. But I'm just, for anybody that hasn't dehydrated or anything, it makes foods last for a long, long time. And if you have a cottage that's not a winterized cottage or something like that, you can't really keep home canned goods out there because they'll freeze. But dehydrated food, you could put them in mason jars. And I even have a vacuum seal. I'm not going to do that with these, I don't think, because I'll end up using them this winter. Um... But you could vacuum seal them and they'll last for even longer. You know, uh, freezing isn't going to hurt these things or anything like that. They're dehydrated, dried out fruits and vegetables. So I, I've i dehydrated a whole bunch of things and I want to start getting back into it. So I'm going to keep my eye out for um, weight maze for good deals um, of foods that we're actually going to eat anyways. I don't have like big fancy dehydrators, but you know, the two that I have to use work good for me. So anyways, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, the kids are home from school. Mosiah's doing her reading. And I want to do my cards. She's going to maybe do her Valentine's after. That's Misha and Mally are doing like. hers now. I have not. Well, I have to, yeah, they... I have to actually make 11, I think. That. And I'm about to drop these uh, vegetables into the pot. I'm going to dump this water off and just drop them into here. Might have to add a little more water. I didn't taste it. I don't have you guys on a tripod or anything, so. Let me just, I mean, this meat's well done been cooked. We'll have a good feed tonight, but I just need to taste it to see if it's too salty. Oh God, mm. that's salty. I'm adding some more fresh water to that. So I ended up just taking the meat out of there and I'm gonna reserve some of the salty water, but the rest I'm gonna dump and put fresh water in this pot um, and boil the vegetables uh, with the meat. 
So yeah, the vegetables will have a lot of flavor too. And then I'll just have a little bit of the salty water on reserve if it's not flavorful enough. That's usually what I do. All right, I put all the vegetables in there. I only left a couple cups of that salty water in there. The rest I put over in this potato pot. And uh, cause the meat will be salty too. Um, yeah, I just need to cut up the cabbage and get that ready. And I got a call from my dad. I got some mail, so I'm gonna run to town after. And I'll pick up the mail and we'll have a cup of tea later together. I'm really excited about that. So anyways, I'm going to get that uh, cabbage chopped up. The kids are finishing their Valentines and uh, yeah, things are coming together. I just chunk it up nice and big. Like, and it'll, it'll fall apart in the pot as it cooks, but yeah, nice and chunky, chunky. There we go. Everything's all added. So I'm just going to, the vegetables are still raw. I just need to boil them for, you know, a half hour and then I'll just turn it down to simmer until it's supper time. It'll be good. Well, not even a simmer. Just put it on low to keep it warm. We'll be good to go. This is uh, my teenager's, one of his absolute favorite, favorite suppers. All right, I'm starting to dish out the supper. A couple of the girls don't like it, so I'm just making them like a sandwich and stuff for supper. So. This is my teenager's. He loves it. With the, He puts a little splash of vinegar on it and it's good to go. Okay, well the kids are all finishing up their supper. My teenager's home. And I'm just spinning into town to get uh, to get that mail. And I want to buy a protective covering for the mattress I put in Misha's room. <clears throat> it's not a major issue, but I just want to make the mattress last longer. And I washed all the bedding today, so before I make it again, I want to put that protective covering on because it's easy just to forget, not even forget, just to, it takes energy to change bed and I'd just rather wait and have that covering and just go get it today. So it's done and over with and we'll be good to go. But I am going to swing by my dad's and pick up the mail and... I gotta go pick up one little baba before I go home. And my husband's gonna be late tonight. He he works he works late tonight and down in the Yarmouth area today. So he's not gonna be home for supper. There's gonna be plenty of supper left for him, of course, but not right he's not gonna be home right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna do what I do. Supper, you know bedtime routine for the babies and then we'll sit down and have a nice cup of tea and open some mail so that's good I have a couple more letters I did this weekend I'm so sorry I'm slow at getting these out uh, I didn't plan on it usually I can bang stuff out right away but I don't know what's going on with me it just takes me a little while longer but I promise I promise I am gonna write you guys back if you haven't received a letter from me yet I promise you will it just takes me I'm slow as molasses in January even though now it's February <laughs> anyways I'll be back a little bit after I've done a couple of errands all right so this is the mattress protector I got and two cards we're gonna open up in a little bit okay guys it's a little after seven I just put one of the little ones to bed. The two baby boys are out there running around. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my husband's still not home yet, but oh, I don't know if there's something on my screen or not. Just a minute, I'll check and see. Is that any better? I've seen a little foggy spot down, down low. Anyways, I thought I'd have a cup of tea with you because I haven't had a cup of tea with you for a few days. Um, while I went into town, I stopped and got those two cards. I was just sitting here looking at these book orders I got at my, when I picked up a uh, little man from the center. Uh, they have book orders sometimes, and I'm a sucker for book orders. Are any of you out there like that, or did you like collecting kids' books? I can't help myself. I need to rein myself in, because I want to buy every single one of them, but... Uh, you know, I'll spend probably 20 bucks and buy some more kid books. I can't help it. And my friend Carolyn stopped in today. 
she she comes around every once in a while she's Jehovah Witness but that's how I got to know her she'll pop in every couple of months just to say hi and drops off one of her watchtower things I give it a little read and anyways uh, I'm not Jehovah's Witness but I certainly don't mind her coming in and it, it's more like having a friend in. we just chit chat and chit chat and it's all good so if you're watching this howdy doody so anyways I'll just show you my teacup uh, I still got my tea bag in it there it's a pretty one well first of all I took a couple pictures so check these out but here you go with just looking at it like this looks like a pretty simple teacup right has a little thin gold band you know tiny little one there's ones down at the bottom and it's very common I find to find them like tracing the handle but if you can see around the inside of the rim it's like a basket and on the bottom, well, I'll show you the saucer. A little drop of tea fell in it. Look at that. Now, that picture that's in the middle of this saucer, oh, there's tea there, is in the bottom of my teacup, too, right at the bottom. And all around the inside lip of my teacup is that basket thread, threading. Isn't that nice? It's more of an Easter teacup. Misha. Pipe down, please. And this is uh, Prince Albert Bone China, made in England. And it had a little piece, a uh, little bit of marker. I can't make out what it, what it is, but down at the very bottom. So that's my teacup. Isn't she a beaut? <laughs> Let's have the first sip. Oh, that's good. I just had a little bit of that boiled dinner. Honestly, I don't, it's not that I don't like boiled dinner. It's just, it's not my favorite. And I don't, I certainly don't eat the meat in it. I like the, the cabbage and the carrots and the um, potatoes and stuff like that. So I'll have a little dish of it. But um, my husband and my, my teenager really, really like that. <laughs> the girls are more like me that just eat the, the veggies. But it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, let's jump right in. This one is from Linda D. And I think I might have got something from you before. I have to check. I'm pretty sure I did. If, I, if I'm if i mistaken, you, Linda. Uh, is the, I'm poop. Yeah. Oh, I'm poop, Maze runs in and says. Hold on a minute. Let me go tackle these kids and then I'll be back and we'll open this card up. Oh, I can't get a moment to myself. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, I hear a herd of elephants upstairs. Oh, Misha. Oh, did you throw something in here? Is that what I heard? What did you throw in here? I don't know. Okay, well, you go on out for now. You'll have to wait till after. Okay. A ball. Yeah, okay, take it out. And these are the stamps, two American flags, and they must be roses, I think. USA forever. Pretty. Have any of you guys been watching the Olympics? Pretty, pretty exciting. I like, I'm not a big sports watcher, but I do like Olympic stuff or world things, as you know. Oh, Linda, yes. I just seen that thing. I still have your, <laughs> your card. Well, I have all your cards hung up, but yours is tip top. Look, look at this. Minnie Mouse. Oh, the kids are going to love this. Look at this. Minnie loves you. XO. Oh, you can rock any style. You can be oh so sweet. You're loved a whole bunch from your ear, ears to your feet. Happy Hearts Day. Have fun. And then a little note. I hope you have a beautiful day with your wonderful family. Love and hugs. Linda from Linda Crazy for Yarn. She has a, a really cool channel and her little pop and stuff like that. Oh, I'm, yeah, you should check her out. I'll put her link down below. But this, <laughs> look at this. Oh, I'll show you the inside of the card too in a second. She, I don't know what it's called, like crochets, is that what that's called? Or cross stitch, cross stitch. 
she does all this stuff. She did a really awesome card for me at Christmas time. And uh, that one, I'm not going to stick on my Christmas cozy. I'll keep that and make it in some sort of a holiday ornament because it's, it's really cool. But so many books, so little time. And that's totally me. What? <sighs> what? Mace took my ball. Okay, we'll take your ball somewhere else. But Mace has it. Okay, well, you have to wait because I'm talking to my friends, you guys. <laughs> Mace Quentin. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Just hold on a second. And hold on, Linda. I, I have to say, I'm going to get lots of use out of this. Can you hear that racket? Just hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm more of a referee around here some days than other days, but this, I'm going to use, Linda. I'm going to use this forever, for as long as I can keep it together and it's in, you know, one piece, because I'll use anything, but I have a really nice, awesome bookmark. Thank you. But I'll show you the inside of this card. There's the card, and ta-da! It opens up and those little hearts jiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Isn't that nice? That's fantastic. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Oh, I just love you. Thank you, thank you. Linda's from Lansing, Michigan. So thank you, Linda. You're the bomb. And I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Happy Hearts Day to you. Oh, I got another card out there from my sister yesterday. I'll get it before before we sign off tonight. I'm actually not going to put that in there. I'm going to put it in a book that I'm reading right now. That's what I'm going to do. Anyways, this one is from Stephanie W. from Gloucester, Gloucester Ohio. I don't know how you say that. G-L-O-U-S-T-E-R. Gloucester? Does that sound right? <laughs> Ohio. I love the little, uh, well, I won't show you your address, but she has one of those homemade, well, not homemade, but you know how you can order your own postage stamps, but it's like fall leaves and uh, acorn in there. And then uh, stamps are one horse, open sleigh, all is calm, all is bright. They must be holiday ones, like, obviously. But look at this. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love it. A little caterpillar, a little ant, and a little flower. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you. That's my fancy card opener. And old, well, it's clean. Steak knife. Now, Dad might call me later. Or I'll talk to him tomorrow and ask, ask me about these. You are a wonderful person, it says. Ooh, my favorite. I love getting cards. I love uh, cards and letters. Love it. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Like the whole scene here is like shiny red hearts. I don't know if the, card, the camera's picking it up. You are a wonderful person. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you. Your love of life and of people shines through in so many inspiring ways. And if anyone ever deserved the best in life, it would be you. Happy Valentine's wishes. Well, thank you. You and your your YouTube channel brings me joy. Hugs from Ohio. Ohio. Stephanie W. Sparrow. 1970 on YouTube. Oh, I'm going to yeah put that link down below for sure and then she has her uh, she put a couple of stickers in there there's one there and like a little butterfly and when I see butterflies that's mom popping in to say hi hi to me thank you so much Stephanie I love this and you can see that like the it has the trim on the top and on the bottom I love it thank you so much and this wonderful wonderful uh, letter. There's a picture of her. I, well, I'll read this after, but I'll give you a, a shout out to the... She has a 
a pup. Might as well show everybody. I won't show you the letter. There's some pictures I can see that are in there. A little pup. Oh, isn't that cute? Cute, cute. Sasha K. Spoiled cock. No, that's that's not. Anyways, anyways. Yes, thank you so much, Steffi. I can't. I'm going to dig right into this right now, but I'm not going to. I'll go get. Oh, you have a whole bunch of other pictures. Yes. Oh, I want to give you all a great big hug. I really do. You guys and people that sent me cards or and just you guys popping in to say hi to me. I just love it. I just love it. But, yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of Valentine's prep because I still haven't done that tea party and I'm going to do a Valentine's tea party with the kids. So that's what tomorrow's going to be. I'm going to run and get that card that my sister and my dad brought out the other day. It's really cute. Just a minute. Okay, they just brought it out yesterday when they popped out, but I thought it was so cute. This is the front. They, uh, my sister got Maze to open it. It was cute. It says, hope you're not embarrassed by a Valentine that says something warm and mushy. Oatmeal, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I said, that Maze, that's you holding the letter. The little heart shine. Awesome. And Maze, Misha, Maziah, Mally, Marquise, Medea, Evan, Evie, Tracy, and Martin. Uh, yeah, from Papa and Grammy. And then my sister and husband and Oreo, Gunner, and Tucker. Those are the pups that they, they have three pups. So, yes. I love, love getting all these cards. So, yeah. Anyways, it was kind of a mishmash. Another one of my wonky videos, but there you go. They'll probably be having that for supper tomorrow, but I'll end up making something else because the, the kids won't eat that, you know, a whole lot tomorrow. But the, my husband and my son will for sure. Might bring some in to my dad too if you want some. I'm almost done. I want to show you the bottom of this. I know you've seen it on that saucer, but... Yeah. See? Isn't that cute? Awesome. Yeah, it says it on the bottom too, with that little marker. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Uh, getting, you know, some stuff done. My mushrooms, I ended up getting two half pints and a quart. Uh, no, two pints and a quart. Dehydrated mushrooms. I'm gonna slice up the rest of those mushrooms. I meant to do it today, I just ran out of time and didn't feel like it, to be honest. So I'll slice up the rest of those mushrooms from yesterday and do those overnight, which will be good. And I'll be good for mushrooms for a little while because I still have a bunch of canned mushrooms downstairs. So I just like to take advantage of deals and stuff. But yeah, pop back tomorrow. I'll put the kettle on and we'll just, you know, tackle some stuff. Uh, Valentine's, I'm going to say party prep, but it's not really party. It's a party with us, you know, like you and me and the kids that's the party that we're having it's funny Misha while I was out there Misha's like did you get any treat bags for Hall uh, for Valentine's I said no well you got those Paw Patrol marker things I watched your video the other day <laughs> so I like to try to surprise them <laughs> of course you know the odd chance that they actually watch one of my videos they used to watch them all the time in the beginning because they thought oh you know mom's on the internet but uh yeah i'll have to pick up a few more things so maybe we'll take a jaunt to town or something like that but anyways peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not that's a-okay too keep your stick on the ice you know share a smile all the positivity in the world and yeah um i just want to say good night and uh Good luck to all those Olympians out there. I'm going to go watch a little bit of the Olympics if I can. I want to find out the hockey schedule. So, yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. So, bye. Boink.